Hey, what's up there, YouTubers? It's me again, Brian, aka Gamer55551. And I am back with a, or should I say, a review slash thought on the Halo, the series um, that's on Paramount Plus. And for parents out there who are wondering what the show is rated, Halo, the series is rated um, TV14. Now, when it comes to putting Halo on, doing other stuff with Halo, like, you know, a movie or a TV show or anything like that, it kind of has fallen into development hell for quite some time. I remember uh, I remember hearing how Peter Jackson and Nier Blomkite, if I'm saying his name correctly, <coughs> saying his name correctly, originally wanted to do a Halo movie, but supposedly the studio behind it all wasn't really into it or anything like that and weren't sure about working with a brand new director so eventually they would do what would be now known as district nine good movie i like to point out though and we have seen halo popped up at one point that was supposed to be part of you know the whole all-in-one xbox one approach you know with microsoft xbox studios but that never really came to fruition so it was kind of interesting to see that Paramount Plus, and along with Showtime, would pick up the rights to do the, or shall we say, the TV show rights of the um, Halo, the series to be exact, though, with Steven Spielberg acting as one of the producers, though. Well, now, after watching the entire um, season one, I will say my impression of the show is kind of at least mixed in my in my point of view though i don't think the show is terrible by any chance i think there are some good points to it but there are also some points i'm not really a hundred percent sure about what direction they were wanted to go with this and it'll be interesting to see how season two plays out though in terms of the areas i did like about um the halo tv show though i will say i did think that i did like you know the world and the setting that they had for it though even though it's not canon and followed the video games in general it still it still feels like they borrow certain elements from the Halo video games, which is sort of interest, kind of sort of the similar approach we saw with Netflix's um, Castlevania, to be exact. It didn't follow exactly like net like the Castlevania series, but there were certain elements that they would um, borrow to it, though. And there are certainly the, some of the most favorite scenes are when it has to do with either the relic or when the Master Chief is fighting off the um, the Covenants and certain alien soldiers, though. And some of the scenes where basically they are basically seen behind the helmet with the classic sounds you would hear from the um, Halo video games, to be exact, though. And I will say I did find it interesting how they decided to explore a backstory with um, Master Chief and all. So I think there were certainly some very high moments that the series has done before. But at the same time, there are certain low or some areas I'm kind of mixed or not 100% sure though. Uh, the first one is that I wasn't really sold on the idea of Master Chief sh taking the, his helmet off and showing off his face in the very first episode though. I was hoping for something along the lines either as what we saw with um, the Mandalorian in a way where he really didn't see, he really didn't take off his helmet until like maybe the end of one of the seasons or the kind of approach we saw in 2010's um Dread where you did see him take off his helmet and maybe but in like in the shadows all but for the majority of the movie he had his helmet on so I thought that was sort of an odd way that they would do that though I didn't really think they were going to go with that approach so I was kind of a little bit surprised I'm not really sold on that approach to and then the other one has to do with the character um Qual Hall if I'm saying saying the character's name correctly though I just feel like I just feel like she didn't really need to be there or anything like that. It's not that I hate the character or the actress or anything like that. Maybe if she appeared like that, maybe in a spinoff as part of that Halo universe, that might make a little bit more sense. Sort of like how we saw um, the Book of Boba Fett took took place in parts of the Mandalorian story and all that stuff. I think if they did something similar like that, it may have worked. I just feel like her story just feels... A little bit unnecessary she made an appearance on a couple of episodes with master chief and then master chief drops them off with with um scorn 66 if i'm saying the name correctly in some refugee colony or something like that and those two don't interact it just feels like she was only there for a bit and then that was it um eventually got to the end of her story though in season one but i just feel like it seemed a little bit 
unnecessary though and it just that was really probably one of my big struggles though and also the scene where the whole scene with master chief and this human girl that was captured and raised by the culprit the so-called um love making scene or sex scene and all i will admit it was weird though i didn't i won't say i was i'm losing sleep over it but i do feel it came off as a being maybe sort of unnecessary or anything um like that though does that mean i came away from the first season disappointed i won't say disappointed though but just um mix on some of the decisions um that they made though but like i said i do think some of the strong points was basically the battles in the first season though and i will say it was very interesting to see some of the um basically um cortana and in terms of her interaction with master chief um in a way so that was certainly neat though I do hope going into a season two, from what I've been hearing, there will be a season two though. I do hope now that they focus more on, you know, like a little bit more on, you know, the what Cortana is doing to Master Chief and really explore the Halo ring even more and like that. I do hope that for season two, they really focus more on that though. So my overall takeaway from the, um, Halo, ser Halo the series on Paramount Plus for season one is I'm, I'm a little bit mixed on this one. There are some high points though. There are certain, the, the fights look nice. Um, the visuals look nice and all that though. And there are certainly some parts that I was okay with like learning about Master Chief's um, backstories. But then there are some parts like I'm just not 100% sure of like one of the characters um, like she didn't feel like she had any part in season one, though. It was just like just thrown in there, in there. I, I think maybe if it was a spinoff, that might be a different story, though. And the the alien, the human being held by the Covenant, and that love making scene was just. Well, I would just say it's just weird in a way. Yeah, it's just seem a little bit unnecessary though but again like i said i'm not losing really any sleep on it so my final takeaway is that it is kind of mixed though on this one i could see where this might divide some fans there are those who will be okay with the tv show there are those who won't to be exact though um despite despite this one being mixed though i'm still looking forward to seeing what season two might be assuming that happens like i said i've heard that it's going to happen and all so We'll see how um, season two um, plays out for Halo the series on Paramount Plus, though. <clears throat> okay, um, this concludes my review slash thought of Halo the series on Paramount Plus. And again, these are my opinion. What are yours? So what are your thoughts about Halo the series on Plan Paramount Plus? Do you, are you divided upon this show to be exact? Do you think it's as bad as the internet makes it sound like it is? Do you don't think it's as bad as the internet makes it sound like it is though? Were there some highs and lows for you though? Are there stuff you would like to see in a season two of Halo the series if it happens? Most likely it will though. Do you agree with what I said in this video? Do you disagree? Do you have a difference of opinion? Um, as always, sound off on the comment section below. Let me know what you think. And if you do like this video, I hope you hit the like button. I would appreciate it. And I hope you do subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you do, make sure you hit the bell icon for notifications of any new videos I put up. Also, feel free to share this video if you want to. And feel free to donate to my channel if you like. You can do it through PayPal me or Patreon. Links will be in the description of this video, assuming you're watching this on YouTube. And I will see you again next time when I do another video. Hopefully that'll be soon. Until then, from Southern California, I wish you all a good day then. Bye.